Today, I'm gonna to share with you how much money our Van Life Travel YouTube channel makes with only 31,000 subscribers, and I'm gonna share with you the progress we made over the course of the last three and a half years after taking YouTube seriously. Now, I wasn't really sure whether or not to make a video like this, but like many people who wanna start a YouTube channel, it begins with a little inspiration from others, and the one big channel that obviously comes to my mind is Karen Nate. And I always appreciated how transparent they were with their income reports, even when they really started to make a lot of money. So since the van is still at the dealer and we have no content to create on the van build project, I figured what the hell, if this inspires just one person to start their own YouTube channel or to get started on whatever they wanna do, I figured it's worth it. First, I wanna let you know that YouTube is a freaking grind and a ton of work. And if you're in it just for the money, then you're probably gonna get burnout really, really fast. I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. But if you're like us who wants to learn new skills, find it fun to create new videos and really enjoy the memories that you create from them, then you got a chance. We started our YouTube channel with little to no experience in front of cameras. Hey guys, we're Taylor and Kevin from MathersOnTheMap.com. Or editing, but we continue to stick it out. But now after three and a half years and over 200 videos uploaded to YouTube, we still find areas to improve and continually get better. Okay, enough about the boring backstory. Let's get into the details on why you clicked on this video. Our YouTube channel makes money in five ways. The first is Google AdSense. The second, affiliate income. Then we have brand sponsorships, merchandise sales, and lastly is our Patreon. In order to start earning Google AdSense, which is basically just how you make money off YouTube, you need to become a member of their partner program, which is their fancy eligibility badge of honor stating that you are now monetized. The requirement for this is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. There's no requirement on how many videos you need to make or how long your channel has been live, so that's really good news. If you create a really good banger video for your first one and it goes viral, then you can be monetized right away. Or if you're like us who were super awkward in front of the camera, didn't really have a clue what we were doing and made some pretty brutal videos. So we just bought this Sprinter van. Then it can take you 308 days and 35 videos to get monetized. So just realize it can be a huge upfront commitment with little to no return. So if you're just in it for the money, then you better know what you're doing and you better create really good videos right out the bat. So back in 2019, when we started taking our YouTube channel seriously, we posted 27 videos got about 34,000 views and ended up with 265 subscribers. So in total, we made $0 from Google AdSense. But we didn't give up and we kept being consistent creating videos on our channel. We were in the middle of building out our first van so we had plenty of content to create and then once the van was finished, we went traveling full time, taking our van all the way up to Maine and down to Key West for our first road trip in the van. By the end of the year, we published 49 videos, had over half a million views, and gained over 8,500 subscribers. For us, we had some really good growth, and we actually got in the partner program on June 17th of 2020, and by the end of the year, we made over $4,000, which had a lot to do with the success of our van tour video, which is still the most popular video on our channel to date. In 2021, we continued traveling full time and started out with a big snowboard trip all across the country. And then we brought the van down into Baja, California and Mexico. We're in Mexico. That was literally the easiest thing in the world. We started publishing more frequently and published 73 videos by the end of the year, had 1.8 million views and ended with just under 25,000 subscribers. This was the most successful year we had on the channel so far, and we earned just over $13,500 from Google AdSense. 2022 was the year of international travel for us to complete our goal of reaching 30 countries before we were 30 years old. We were two months shy on that goal, but we still completed it, and the van was basically parked in front of the house for half the year. We ended up selling the van at the end of September, had one big international trip remaining, and then bought a new van to start the next chapter of our lives. What a four by four. have we done? <laughs> Mercedes Sprinter, Pebble Gray, 2022. The mileage is seven on the van. Not 7,000. Seven. By the end of the year, we published 61 videos on our channel, accumulated 1.4 million views, and had roughly 31,400 subscribers. That generated about $10,800 of Google AdSense, which was a little less than 2021. I don't have a concrete answer on why our channel went down a little bit, but I'm assuming it's likely because of the COVID bump with 2020 and 2021, where more people were inside watching content on the internet. 
Come on, Thunderbolt. So since we've been monetized, our channel has earned us $28,476 with a subscriber count of roughly 31,400. The next source of income for our YouTube channel is all about affiliate income, which is one of the best ways to earn money on YouTube, especially for smaller creators. The good news about affiliate income is that there's really no barrier to entry, meaning you can sign up to be an affiliate right away and just get started making money through affiliates. We were actually able to make a little bit of money in 2019 with our affiliates because our videos were pretty much how to build a van. So when we did a van project like installing a Max Air fan, we put our affiliate link in the description below. And if someone clicked on that link and made the purchase, we would get a small commission off that at no cost to them. So in 2019, we made $258.92. And in 2020, this number grew significantly. We finished the van build and had all our affiliate links in the description of pretty much every single van build video. And by the end of the year, we made roughly $3,212 which we were really stoked about because we were actually making money doing something that we love. Just like Google AdSense, our Amazon affiliate income skyrocketed in 2021, earning us just over $20,000, which is absolutely insane, especially for the size of our YouTube channel. We also were able to join other affiliate networks and we were able to make roughly $1,300 from those smaller affiliate companies. This surge of income was likely due to the fact that our van build series was complete and our van life travel series included all of the components in our van. So when someone watched our van life series and maybe watched us install our heater or utilize our heater during the winter, then maybe they clicked on those links and proceeded to get their own, which we would earn that commission. Heater's still kicking, so it's probably nice and toasty. Oh, toasty! For 2022, that number came down significantly because we stopped our van build episodes and our van life travel episodes, switching to international travel where we don't have that many affiliate products to include. So in 2022, we made $12,795, which brings us to a total of $36,300 plus for our total affiliate income across the three and a half years on YouTube. The next source of income for our YouTube channel is brand sponsorships, where brands actually pay you to promote their product or brand in a little segment of your video and we were able to get our first brand deal in 2021 and for the year we made a total of 474 dollars and a little bit of sense in 2022 our brand sponsorship started to pick up because we weren't only getting asked by brands to promote their products we were also starting to pitch brands that we wanted to work with we made a total of six thousand seventy three dollars and that number could have been bigger if we accepted more brand deals but we only accept deals where we believe in the products we have used before and we feel comfortable promoting them to you guys one of the biggest concerns we have is building trust with our community and we just don't want to go promoting whatever comes across the table just for the money. The next source of income for Mathers on the Map is our merchandise sales, which we launched back around the holidays of 2021 wow. and created an e-commerce store promoting our clothes and our stickers. This source of income is relatively small because we don't really promote it that often, but in 2021, we made just over $800. And then for this year in 2022, we made just over $400. Keep in mind, this number is just our gross revenue because there's significant costs involved with merchandise with the inventory cost as well as shipping. We use a service called Printify, which is actually on-demand printing, so we don't have to buy inventory upfront and make that big upfront investment because we don't know how much demand we're gonna sell, and it would be foolish for us to buy a 1,000 T-shirts and you only sell 10 of those. Unfortunately, I don't have the cost for 2021, but in 2022, our cost was roughly $307. So we only took home $133 out of that $440 that we made. Hopefully that will change though, as we continue to grow and build a more loyal community, because we would love to have our inventory on hand so we could write personal thank you messages for everyone who purchased our products. Our last source of income for the YouTube channel is our Patreon account, which we started in August of 2022 and brought in $59 for the year. This isn't a big source of income for us, but it's an awesome way for our audience to support us and get access to exclusive content like our GPS maps, custom itineraries, travel hacking tips and tricks, and receive updates before anyone else across all social platforms. One of our goals for 2023 is to continue to build Patreon out because as we continue to grow, the influx of comments and messages are gonna to be too hard to handle and then we'll be directing our focus to our Patreon community. 
right now we do try to answer literally every single comment and message that we receive but that might change as our numbers grow if you have any suggestions on how we could bring even more value to our patreon account then please let us know and to our three patreons who have been supporting us since the beginning thank you so much it means the world to us to have your support and for john if you're watching this we have your stickers ready to get shipped out. We just need you to email us back with your address so we can get them to you. If you don't want to join Patreon, it's no sweat whatsoever. You can support us simply by liking this video and sharing it with a friend. If you are new to our channel, we have a playlist of our travel series starting from the very first travel episode, which you can binge watch your way all the way to the present day, which would be a huge help to us as well, bringing more eyes to our channel. So here's the full breakdown of our year over year gross income for Mathers on a Map. In 2019, we made $258.92. In 2020, we made $7,309.47. In 2021, we earned $36,383.66. And then in 2022, we earned $30,176.42 bring the total gross revenue for the entire channel over the last four years to $74,128.47. Remember, this number is just the gross revenue, not the net profit, because we have a lot of expenses, especially when we're traveling internationally. But I just wanted to show you how much money this channel makes from a gross revenue perspective and give you an idea what you can expect when you have a channel similar to our size getting similar views. You might be wondering how we afford this lifestyle only making $30,000 per year and that doesn't include the expenses that come along with it. And the answer is Taylor is still a part-time nurse and we have a rental income property that we bought in 2018, the duplex that we actually live in one unit and rent out the other, which is another source of income. So I hope this paints a pretty good picture of what a YouTube channel our size makes. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting us and watching our videos over the last three and a half years. It means the world to us. The community that we built is absolutely incredible. And one of the big goals for us is to continue to grow this channel so that Taylor can step aside from her nursing career and we could both be fully dedicated to this YouTube channel and make the best content possible moving forward. So again, thank you so much. If you have any questions on how to start a YouTube channel or any questions about our channel in general, leave a comment below. And if you're new here, consider going back to day one of our travel series and see all the amazing places we visited because we might inspire you to go add a couple of those places to your bucket list.